Hi there, welcome to Prime Time. I'm Paul Orford. I'm here with Zhao from Forex Cube. And what I wanted to talk to Zhao about today was something that's come up in Germany, which is Wirecard. Now, we didn't want to get into the mechanics of um, payments and things like this. It's more regulation about whether you have a good regulator, does that automatically make you a good brand? Or if you're offshore, why do people categorize you as nefarious, shall we say? <laughs> okay, so I've got one of the guys here. He's your regulator from the Cook Island. Okay, that's great. Why did you choose the Cook Island? Um, at that time, when we, st when we started back in 2018, we considered, I was looking exactly for an, um, a jurisdiction where we will be able to accommodate all the business, all the client portfolio that I already had from, from before into, uh, without the leverage restrictions that at that time uh, was taking place in, in Europe, and, and they, still, they still are. Um, and at the same time, uh, from, a, from a reputational point of view, we wanted also, even though offshore, we wanted something where there was no negative press or mm -hmm. negative uh, uh, reputation, especially to, in regard to the banking and so on because as you know if we analyze all, all the other offshore uh, jurisdictions such as Vanuatu or Belize uh, it was extremely difficult even to get uh, a banking uh, option for the business and so at that time our lawyers uh, presented at Cook Islands we uh, we felt that it could be a good option also from the marketing point of view yeah. uh, not uh, not uh, having many competition there mm -hmm. reduces also also that uh, that uh, reputation risk because we don't have competition there that might uh, yeah. affect our brand within right. the Cook Islands that's a smart point actually isn't it because a lot of brokerages for example if they take a Vanuatu and they've blown someone up Yes. And um, everyone else says, oh, by default, you're Vanuatu. Sure. So this is really what I wanted to get to was, so if you're F an FCA brokerage, Baffin, whatever, let's just call them the tier one regulations, yes. okay? People automatically assume, especially if they're from like Asia, Africa, etc., that your, your reputation is peerless. You're, you're completely cool and everything's all right. Personally, I don't think that's true myself. But, uh, what either, but uh, my opinion is very simple. I think that at the end of the day is the people behind the business mm. and how the business is managed. Uh, obviously, we associate uh, UK, Germany, mm. especially these two countries as a, as a reputation uh, uh, point uh, or, or guideline uh, for, for any other jurisdiction. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we analyze uh, in, in a clear way and you see it uh, without emotions involved, we see that uh, most of the, the businesses that uh, end up mm -hmm. uh, affecting the, the end user, the end trader, uh, most of these companies were, were from, uh, from Europe. Yeah. If you analyze now, you mentioned Wirecard mm -hmm. on your intro mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, which never uh, was, was uh, uh, never a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of companies in Cyprus, which obviously is Europe, but also had a lot of uh, repercussion and negative negatively affected the, the FX market in general uh, because of what happened in, in the last uh, four or five years. Um, and also UK, uh, now I can say that uh, UK now after Brexit uh, is not UK offshore anymore. No, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's a matter of analyzing as well uh, when we mention offshore, from which perspective are we looking at? Because obviously, if we see it from an European standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, every island, every jurisdiction, even Asian licenses are offshore. Mm -hmm. But if you see it from outside Europe. Uh, we end up to be in the same level of, of opportunity and the same level of, of, of uh, protection. I, I think, as I mentioned initially, is a matter of uh, doing the things right. Uh, we focus on the client, we focus in providing the best service. We are in the, in the market, as you know, for two and a half years. And uh, we don't uh, aim to be the biggest, we aim to be the best. Mm. Uh, and so we've been, we've been uh, working hard, we've been always uh, avoiding, as a matter of fact, avoiding uh, looking to the competition uh, in the sense of uh, uh, analyzing inside what mm. we have, the, the, the resources that we have, and, and presenting something unique. And you can see uh, 
from all the marketing campaigns that Forex you've been releasing. Uh, we tried always to be unique uh, and for and with with something that never happened before. We see the, the installment program, which which never ne was never considered by any broker before. Um, we have we have uh, in fact uh, a different approach. We uh, we we respect everyone mm -hmm. uh, and and we just I believe we can we can consider to be as well a, a respected entity currently in the market. I think you made a really interesting point there about where you are deemed as offshore you have to work twice as hard for your clients we to do. give them that and then your clients are naturally your best advert so if they go out there into chat rooms and things like this yeah. okay i got service okay execution was perfect and in this funny enough we uh, i've been talking with a few people recently where uh, they've been following me especially on linkedin mm -hmm. where I'm, I'm quite active as you know uh, when we launched forex cube two and a half years ago and i said oh this is one more scam yeah. one more company that's that uh, uh, from banana republic um <laughs> And uh, they, I spoke with the same people like one or two months ago, mm -hmm. and I said, "Well, I'm impressed with with the work that you have done." Uh, initially, as a matter of fact, I, I consider this a scam, but uh, I feel that you are still in the market. I'm I'm uh, very happy uh, the success the success that mm -hmm. you are you are getting with your brand. Um, and as a matter of fact, this is as any other business, not because it's FX related. Mm -hmm. uh, as any other business, you need to put effort, you need to yeah. put hours of work. Uh, dedication uh, and and the things end up to happen, happen by by itself. How was it at the start then? Okay, because let's face it, you you were a, a Cook Island, and I never knew of any other Cook Island brokerages oh, then. No. How hard was it the first say six months of like opening and launching a website and then going live? Um, it was it was I can say that it was hard. I, I knew what what to expect because I uh, I took offshore in the Cook Islands uh, by my initiative. I I had I have as you know uh, a couple of investors backing the business, which which they could have backed uh, also an European business at that time. Yeah. I didn't take a European business by poorly by my decision, mm -hmm. uh, not because I couldn't, um, and uh, I, I I felt that it would be the best way to start and gather and present something with that is a solution mm -hmm. and not uh, not uh, come to the client and say this is what I have does this fit your trading needs mm -hmm. no we we offer what they need mm -hmm. uh, the the European the the second badge or yeah. any other will come after because people will will like to trade with us and then the, the things progress na naturally mm -hmm. we uh, we are careful enough uh, to subscribe uh, the financial commission mm -hmm. uh, protection uh, of, of 20,000 euros mm -hmm. so we are we our clients are insured with the financial commission which is a independent entity from the regulator uh, which also gives some peace of mind we uh, we have good relations with the banks uh, even though we are offshore which is becoming always a, a big issue in terms of 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 uh, offshore brokerage because the banking is is, is in fact they are tidying up the, the the possibilities, yeah. um, and so we uh, we uh, we are comfortable on that, and we are we are progressing. We have a few a few um, updates and a few something new that will be be released very soon in terms of our brand, in terms of what, in terms of our offering. And, and we are we are step by step we are getting there. <laughs> All right, cool. So we'll leave it there. Um, I think the viewers should have a bit of sympathy for the poor guy because you're kind of on lockdown in Cyprus, aren't you? Waiting to go back to the Cook Islands. Yes, yes, uh, <laughs> true. I, uh, as you know, in March I was not expecting to uh, to be here for for that long. But yeah, no, what can you do? Uh, well, yeah. Enjoy the mezzo and relax. Yes, <laughs> I love Cyprus. That's great. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for your See you. Bye bye.